today's video, I figured we would make something fun. Something that I made when I was a little girl. Which is rock candy. Rock candy can be kind of expensive to buy at the store, but is so cheap to make at home. And you can make it for your kids, for your grandkids, for your nieces and nephews. It is perfect for any elegant party that you want to put on. So let's get started on making rock candy. Now I'm gonna take a pan and turn it on high heat. Now I'm gonna take three cups of sugar and put it in the pan, along with one cup of water. And you'll wanna cook this until it dissolves and it starts boiling. And you wanna stir it every so often so nothing burns. All right, so it started boiling as you can see. So as soon as it starts boiling, you'll want to take it off the heat right away and let it cool down for about 10 minutes. And while it's cooling down, we can get the other supplies ready. Now you want to get some skewers or some other sticks. A lot of times people just buy sucker sticks, but you obviously don't have to. Um, I wouldn't waste the money. But you want to get however many you're going to be making. Um, I'm going to be making six total. So I'm getting three, and then you'll just want to take them and break them in half. So you get, obviously, a total of six. Now you want to coat the sticks with some sugar water. So you want to just take the mixture that you just made up and just kind of run it through that. And take a cup of sugar and just put them in there. Put it in there. And this is what will help your crystals to grow because the crystals need something to attach themselves to to start growing. So you want to just kind of run it through that. And you need to wait for them to dry. So I'm just going to continue to do that. Put it in the sugar. This is just pure sugar. And the more sugar you get on the stick, um, the more I find that the crystals grow bigger. So if you can see, there's kind of a thin coat of the sugar on there. At this point, I will double dip and I will run them right back through. So for some reason this works, I just take the sugar water, run it, run it back through. And as you can see, it's actually more of a simple syrup. You can see it didn't really come off, which is perfect, because I need it thicker. So as you can see, it is thicker now. So if you can see, they are a lot thicker now. And you want to just let this dry for about five minutes or until the simple syrup has cooled down for a total of 10 minutes or longer if you want. Now it's time for me to add my flavoring and coloring to make the rock candy really pretty. Um, so some people use just food coloring and they might use um, a, a type of extract. I like to make it really simple so I like to just add some syrup. Um, anything that has coloring and syrup, I use this. Um, I use this, which obviously this is m more for adults because it has a little liquor in it. But really anything that is a type of sugar syrup because really um, this, this syrup is like a simple syrup. And so I'm gonna just add a tablespoon into each cup. And you can use whatever kind of cup you want. Um, you can, if you use a really long cup, then your crystals can form really long. Nice suckers. Um, but I'm just going to use one of these old Welch's jars. I love these things. And then just take my syrup and add a tablespoon into each cup. So 
So um, you can pick whatever flavor, whatever coloring you want. Um, if you want them to be even stronger colors, you can add, of course, food coloring as well. But I just like to make it simple and just like to add a tablespoon. Therefore, I get the color and I get the really great flavor. Okay, so now once your simple syrup has cooled down for about 10 minutes, you can go ahead and add them to the cups. And the reason why you want it to cool down because you don't want it to be too hot where it melts all the sugar right off of the sticks. Because if you do, then you won't really grow any crystals on it because it will melt the sugar right off and you need the sugar on the sticks in order for your crystals to grow. Okay, so for the flavorings, I did blackberry and strawberry and then obviously the alcohol one. <laughs> and you'll just want to take your sticks and some clothespins and just basically put it on here. And since this sugar water mixture has cooled down you can go ahead and just put them in there and you'll kind of want to line it up perfectly um, so it's not quite at the bottom because um, you want room for the crystals to grow and just kind of make it so it's not too far down and not too far to the side so they can grow and not get attached to the side of the cup. You take your clothespins, put them on there, put them in the jar. Now is the hard part because it is the waiting process. So basically you just have to wait until the crystals grow and you can pick when you want to take them out. So they can be as soon as three days, they can be as long as two weeks, however long you want to wait. So now that it has been seven days, I'm gonna take them out since they do look like they have grown enough. Um, but if you can kind of see on the top, let me focus this, um, there is actually a hard layer, which it kind of forms. And so you'll need to break this layer. So if you can see, it's actually just basically candy. So technically you could eat this because everything in here you pretty much can eat. But what you'll wanna do is you'll wanna break the top layer. So you wanna just take like a butter knife or whatever you want and then just break it, break it up. Both sides to be able to get the candy out. And then you just wanna make sure they kinda Detach, that's why you wanna put this there for the side. Now this one didn't turn out that amazing. It's probably the smallest one. But anyways, you still can eat it. And you wanna just take it out and put it on a plate to dry out and just kinda of drain the liquid off of it. And then put this on the plate too to dry a little bit. And you just continue to break the rest of them. And then of course these are the adult ones. Nice and big. And I really am quite surprised how easily this one comes out and there's only a thin layer on top. Just kind of shake it off and put 
put it on the plate also. So you can kind of see they're sparkly. Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I figured who better to test these candies out than my kids. So this is Aiden. Hi. And this is Tristan. Hey. He just turned 11 but we're pretty much the same height so pretty sad. But anyways, so I figured we would try this candy out. Do you guys want to try it out? Yeah. Alright. They've been waiting patiently. It has been a long wait for them. What do you guys think? Good. <laughs> Are they good? Are you going to eat them super fast? Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much. And if you have any questions, just comment below. And remember to support this channel by subscribing and like this video. Come back again. Bye. And see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.